But what I just said, you know, people who are not subscribed to me or the ex-woman, you know, that's uh, Twitter platform, I'm not going to see that. So you're only going to see what I'm going to say going forward now in this part of the video because we're going to divide the video into two and this part of the video is not going to be seen by the general public. So if you are not a subscriber on my ex formerly known as Twitter platform, we're encouraging you, go there and subscribe. You can subscribe by going to X and then searching for me at Renault Mercury and then on the top right hand corner, you're going to see the subscribe tab, click on it and easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you're a subscriber and you're going to get as a subscriber every day, daily investment tips on rates, on ETFs, on cryptos, on stocks, on mutual funds, on treasury bills, on treasury bonds, you know, and these are going to make you wealthier if you implement them. You're also going to be getting, not for the public, Renner's Nuggets. Now, I have a new book coming out. I'm going to be giving snippets of that book to my subscribers. So if you want that, then be a subscriber on the x known as Twitter platform. And also, I give personal attention. I respond to each and every question asked by my subscribers. Now, a lot of people outside of my subscriber tab have been asking me, how do we raise money to invest? One of the ways by which you can raise money to invest Obviously, you can go to a bank, you can borrow money from the bank, which is very tedious, especially if you live in the West African sub-region and other countries that are facing high inflation. Another thing you can do is you can do peer-to-peer -peer lending, but a lot of peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms have blacklisted a lot of countries in the West African sub-region and then in other third world countries. So by far the best way you can do this is to do an audit of your financing. Now, what do I mean? Now, take your bank statements for the last six months and then audit it. Look at where your money is going. Look at where, where your money is going. And then, because on your bank statements, you're going to see an item and you're going to see what that item is. Now, look for every unnecessary spending on your bank statement, every unnecessary spending. Obviously, if you're spending on rent, that's a necessity. If you're spending on food, that's a necessity. But then if you're spending on clothes, clothes are no necessity because you already have clothes, right? If you're spending on data, data is some kind of a necessity, but not fully a necessity. You can reduce that. But then if you're spending money at a club, a club is totally not a necessity. If you're spending money on restaurants, eating out, that's not a necessity. So what you can do is that you gather all the monies that you spent in the last six months that you spent on things that were not necessary. Now, that gives you an insight to where you can save, where you can save money. And so you, what, because the purpose of looking backwards is so that you can change your, your behavior going forward. And that's why Winston Churchill said, said the, more, the further backward you can go, the further forward you can prepare for. So what you do is that after you audit your spending for six months, then you begin to see where you can make savings. So maybe you spent like probably $180 going to clubs in the last six months. What you can do is that you know for a fact that if you cut out clubbing, you can save $180. And that money you can put towards investing. If you spend maybe like $240 eating out at restaurants, what you know right now is that if you cut out eating out at restaurants and you eat only at home, then you can save $240. So altogether now, you know, you just get, gather maybe like $500 from all your unnecessary spending and then you begin to save that and that's what you're going to use to invest. But if you don't audit your finances by doing a reverse budgeting, looking at your bank statements and then taking out line item by line item by line item of unnecessary spending, you're not going to be knowing where your money is going. And if you don't know where your money is going, you cannot make plans for the future. So do that. And then already you're maybe probably going to get something like maybe 200 to 500, sometimes even more that you can begin to use to invest for the future. Now, that's by far the best way. Now, if you watch this, you've got questions arising from this. I'm going to tell you, put your questions in the comment section of this video. My staff are going to bring them to me and I'll do my best to respond to each and every category. But if you are a subscriber on my ex formerly known as Twitter platform, if you are a subscriber, ask your questions there. I respond to each and every question asked by my subscribers. Now, my name is Ronald Mokri, the Apostle of Prosperity. Thank you for watching and may God bless you. But when who travels all around the world I hope you get inspired about what you see Apostle of greatness, Reno is a master Only one man against the old world in large Fighting with the monsters, poverty I can't stand That's why Reno is a